morning, everyone, and welcome back to Musical Moments. I apologize for last week, uh, just uh, absenteeism here, but uh, we had a lot going on, uh, and uh, sometimes it happens. But uh, so glad to be back and uh, sharing uh, this month of February for you. We have a theme today, which we will be doing uh, music from um, African American spirituals for this uh, segment of the show. And there's so much a wealth of information uh, or wealth of, of music out there that sometimes we're singing something every week and we don't even realize that it is a spiritual. And um, so I put together a list of something and I'm happy to take requests today as well. So I wanted to say hello to a few people out there. Uh, nice to hear and see Rhonda Schumann uh, watching today who uh, used to sing with us here at uh, Living Word and she moved um, a couple states away and but it's so great with technology here we can stay in touch so nice to see uh, uh, Rhonda nice to see Blit, uh, Britt Larson also on here and uh, also Carol Ann uh, Lodel's list watching and also Michael Michael Padilla is listening so uh, it's good to see you all today uh, so we will uh, be get, getting people little by little here today and uh, I'm going to get started with um, I was trying to think how to approach this today of course uh, uh, like I said if you have a song that you'd like to hear uh, please make a suggestion but I, I put together a f some medleys today of songs that kind of fit together then we're also spiritual so I'm going to start with something uh, some songs about water and we'll talk a little bit about uh, the spirituals in a little bit uh, as we go uh, great songs and not only songs but they were just means of communication during some very hard times for uh, African Americans and um, I'm going to start with a song called uh, Deep River and uh, and then we're going to do Take Me to the Water and Wade in the Water all songs about uh, you know, alluding to the underground uh, railway and uh, heading through the water to get from down south up north, and um, but beautiful songs.
some beautiful songs today. Uh, that was a deep river, take me to the water and wade in the water. Again, uh, welcome to Musical Moments today. Uh, our theme today is African American spirituals. It's, uh, February is um, uh, Black Music Month, and uh, so during this month, I'm going to be uh, featuring different uh, avenues of, uh, of music. Uh, today, we're focusing on the spiritual and um, great music, beautiful music, and also music of, uh, of messages. And uh, of course, if you just tuned in, uh, these three songs were uh, messages about the Underground Railway and uh, walking through the river to, to come up north. Um, just a few things. We have a few more people coming on. Uh, we have Joyce Puteri listening in again from New Jersey. Also my mother from the same neck of the woods. Hello, Yvonne Bob from Saints Memorial Baptist Church. Kim Churchhall and my sister Jill Herbold is listening from out west. Great to see you guys today. I think I pretty much got most everybody. Uh, if I didn't, I'll get you. And Agnes Kai, of course, I haven't seen you in a while. It's great to see you. Um, and we used to do that Take Me to the Water a lot for baptisms. A lot of people use that uh, at, uh, up at Saints Memorial when we used to do it. That was kind of the song we did anytime we had a baptism. But once again, a lot of double meaning songs. We're going to continue on with uh, some some more spirituals for you today, and uh, some of them might some of them might surprise you. Um, this is a, an old one that uh, Margaret Bonds made popular, uh, uh, a, voc uh, a spiritual uh, vocalist who sang, and um, it's called "He's Got the Whole World in His Hands."
So there's another couple songs spiritual for you. That's, that was a, kind of a hand medley. He's got the whole world in his hand and precious Lord takes my hand. So um, uh, hello to Steve Gallus back in here listening. Well, nice to see you. So if you have a song that you'd like to request today, we're doing uh, a lot of spiritual today for Black History Month. Um, so uh, if you can think of something that kind of fits in that vein, um, I have a, I put a series of kind of uh, medleys together of a couple songs that uh, you may or may not know. I'm not, I'm not going to say what they are, so maybe you can guess some of them. But uh, hello to uh, Mary, also hello to Mary Lou uh, Volan, great to see you today. And Ch Kim Churchill, great to see you as always. Uh, we'll continue on. Uh, I want to read a little bit just something about the uh, African-American spirituals. This was written by uh, Frederick Douglass. Um, so I'll just take a minute or so. African-American spirituals, usually with a Christian religious theme, were originally monophonic, meaning one melody, and a cappella, and were antecedents of the blues. The term spiritual, black spiritual, African-American spiritual, jubilee, and African-American folk songs are all synonymous. Spirituals sometimes provide comfort and ease the boredom of daily tasks. They were expressions of spiritual devotion and a yearning for freedom from bondage. Sometimes they were a means of releasing emotion, which we know, and expressing sorrow. Frederick Douglass, a former slave from the time, had written, I did not, when I was a slave, fully understanding the deep meaning of those uh, incoherent songs, as he called them. I was myself within a circle so that I could neither see nor hear as those might see and hear. They breathe the prayer and complaint of souls overflowing with anguish. They are the remark in the olden time was not unfrequently made that slaves were the most content and happy layers not and that their dancing and singing were feared to as proof of this, but it was a great mistake to suppose them happy because they were sometimes made these joyful noises. The songs represented their sorrows rather than their joys. Like tears, they were relief to aching hearts. So we're going to continue on with a couple more. This is... Uh, First one, I'm gonna, I'll tell you what it is. It's called Soon I Will Be Done.
That went out to Joyce Buteri, or Joycey Baby as we know her, in New Jersey, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. Before that, we had a couple great ones. Uh, as we talked about uh, singing about troubles, I did Soon I Will Be Done with the Troubles of This World, and nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Hello to uh, Miata Harris, new, new uh, face on here today. Welcome to the show. Once again, we're doing, if you just tuned in, we're doing uh, African-American spirituals today in uh, celebration of Black History Month. So I'm going to continue on. I have got a, some, uh, there's so much exciting music out there. If you uh, just go to any, uh, you can Google it. Uh, there's a ton of, of uh, resources out there if you ever want to just listen uh, to some anthologies of the music. Uh, some of the great singers, Mahalia Jackson, uh, Marian Anderson, uh, were great singers of spirituals. Uh, some of those names are just a few to look up uh, who really brought uh, the music to the masses. Uh, and I know Marian Anderson, if you, those of you who know, she was she um, brought these songs to the, the, uh, the Capitol uh, many, many years ago. And um, so we're going to continue on. I've done this one before, but uh, I'd like to do it again. It's a favorite of mine. And it's uh, kind of tells, uh, once again, we talked about these spirituals sometimes had a uh, either a message uh, in uh, Earlier, we said about some of the, uh, the underground uh, railroad and things there. They were coded messages, songs, and some were just stories about uh, things. And this one is a story from the Bible uh, about Joshua.
once again, two uh, more spirituals for you. And as I mentioned, there are Either they told a Bible story. In this case, we had the story that was called Didn't It Rain? Talk about Noah. And before that, we had Joshua with the Battle of Jericho. There was many other spirituals talking about uh, Ezekiel and the wheel, about uh, Daniel in the lion's den. Too many to get to in one day. But uh, like I said, you, we, with the power of Google and, and listening, uh, there's so many great songs that tell a story. Um, So I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. This is one we do. I've done just about at every church that I've ever played at in my 56 years of being alive. And uh, you might not have known it was a spiritual. Some of you might, but I'm going to play it. Um,
right, there's some, uh, some great new ones for you. New arrangements are some older ones, but um, uh, I guess people are just enjoying it because I'm not getting a whole lot of action there. <laughs> so uh, let's do something. Uh, I'm going to change a little style here.
Walk with me, Lord, and uh, walk in the light. That was a little, uh, it just kind of came to me. Uh, Jesus is the light of the world. And Yvonne, Bob is requesting, she's always, she's always the one who stumps me. <laughs> I really feel bad, Yvonne, because you're, uh, I can get some old freedom in. Yeah, we can do a little of that, okay?
Didn't do a lot of talking, but there was so much music covered, so I hope you enjoyed. I want to thank Marlon and Rafi today, back in the back there, keeping the sound rolling. And once again, uh, just remind you, if you can listen this Sunday, uh, we still have our online church at uh, 9 o'clock our time. And also, if you want to hear our live stream at 1030. Before I sign off, just a couple of people. Luis Lama Richardson is listening. I just want to say hello to her. I'm not sure if we've met, but uh, it's, it's great to see you on here. If there's anybody else I missed, uh, Miata Harris. I think I didn't say hi to her, but... Thank you for being here today. And next week we'll have some brand new songs for you. In the interim, we hope everyone has a great week. And uh, as we walk, continue into uh, Lent coming up, you know, it tends to be more reflective. But uh, this month we're going to enjoy ourselves and celebrating some of these uh, great songs so please come back next week and tell a friend just to click away so uh once again god bless have a great week